Hello. you guys. I'm Hello. such a big fan of yours. Thank you, thank you. you that song was gorgeous. Oh, thank I didn't write it, but I loved singing it. Yeah, it's such a pretty song, right? It is, The whole it is. album is and, good. Yeah, and Miley is just remarkable. Yeah, her um, voice too. She's got yeah. that really crazy cool vibrato. Yeah. Oh, she man, used to, I, yeah. She actually guested on Two and a Half Men for a little while. Yeah. And she would just sit around doing those little vocal trills, yeah. uh, just you know, just offhand, just, just hanging out, just hanging out, being, doing these amazing things. And you're like, what? That what? was literally like working with Ariana on The Voice. We would just be backstage, and she's just constantly like keeping her, oh, like yeah. even her really high like whistle tones. She's exactly. keeping them in check, and I'm like, you're just like sitting there like. Aah! I was like, yeah. what in the world? Like, yeah, it's people like are crazy talented. Yeah. yeah, it is a superpower. Mm -hmm. So wait, so you grew up here. Yes. Now, is this like, like where, where I grew up, it looks totally different. Like it's, it used to be like the countryside, now it's like a metropolis comparatively speaking. What is it like for when you come back here? Well, New York is always New York. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they, they uh, but buildings just pop up where you, you least expect them. I mean, like, because I grew up here, you know, in the 70s. Okay. Okay, that's, so it's a little while ago. Uh, and and it's so different now. Yeah. Uh, although interestingly, my wife says that I'm sexier in New York. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, if you're dressing like it's this, sir. Yeah. Uh, Good to I, elevate your game. And no, but I. Hey, it turns out I'm sexier in New York. <laughs> 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 I was just making a joke because everyone's talking about it. I'm like, turns out I was a dog in LA. <laughs> um, anyway, I was just kidding. I'm totally kidding. Um, well, but the reason why I realized is because I know where I'm going. I know because oh. I grew up here. Oh, you're confident. And, but like apparently in every other city of the you're world, lost. I'm like, I, uh, where, <laughs> yeah. where is the, is the Google Maps said there was a yeah. thing here. Just so you know, that's me everywhere. Great. Even where I grew up. I'm great. the worst. I can't find anything. Um, but I heard one time that you were on, like, I guess theater. You were doing theater, and you fell asleep oh. on stage. <laughs> like, your character is supposed to be asleep, I, but you actually fell asleep. Yes, I fancy myself a very professional actor. Do you? But apparently, <laughs> that's not true. Uh, no, I was, uh, one of my very first jobs was uh, in a Broadway show uh, yeah. called Brighton Beach Memoirs. Wonderful Neil Simon play. Yeah, yeah. And, and amazing, amazing writer. Um, and uh, the, the, my character, uh, had to fall asleep at one point. Uh, he had to go upstairs and go to sleep in his room. Yeah. Uh, uh, but you have not experienced terror until you realize that you fell asleep during the Broadway show you're starring in. Mm. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Uh, I, I, and I, because I remember there was an actor named uh, Joe Breen, who, wonderful actor who, who was in, um, he was in Galaxy Quest. What, uh, yeah. And he uh, and I and I remember just laying there, and he was uh, sleeping across. He was sleeping across from me, but he is a better actor uh, who, who, who fakes it apparently. Um, <laughs> and uh, and I remember him, and I remember just the look on his face, going John, 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 and his eyes got all huge. Uh, and and then I was like, huh, I wonder what's, uh, wonder what Joe's, uh, what his problem what's your is. Problem. <laughs> uh, exactly. And then and then the adrenaline shot of all time went through my body um, because I realized I was uh, I had fallen asleep during the play that I was supposed to. Um, but thankfully, uh, if you rehearse enough, it's yeah. muscle memory. Yes. So so I I leapt in and the monologue that I had to say. Thankfully, leapt into yeah. my mouth, but that. We well, had a nap. You should have felt fresh. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> should have felt real fresh. Yes, you're There's right. nothing more you're terrifying because right. I grew up in musical theater, being on stage and going, mm. "Why is everyone quiet?" Yes. <laughs> and, they're, and they're quiet because it's your turn to say something. Yep. Yeah. Yep, exactly. That's when I knew the theater exactly. was not for me. Um, but anyway, <laughs> but I heard that, were you fired from that play? And was it because you fell asleep? No. Okay. Interestingly, I was fired before I fell asleep. Um, <laughs> So that, wow. uh, uh, yeah, no, no, I, I was actually Matthew Broderick's understudy for a long time. Uh, at, well, not for that long, because they, they fired me. <laughs> um, but, uh, but no, it was, that was my first, first awesome. gig. Uh, I was like, I was 18 and I was terrified. And yeah. Matthew is a wonderful, wonderful performer. He was, he was the lead in the show. It was his breakout role. He won the Tony for it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so I was, I was terrified. Uh, and they, they fired me right after he won the Tony. Uh, I think because they wanted some, they wanted somebody that people had heard of in the show taking yeah. over for him, as opposed to 
me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, but it was it was a very formative experience in my life because all of my my parent my parents are performers and and uh, and all of their actors friends really gathered around me because this is the kind of thing this happens to actors time, all yeah. the time. Yeah. Uh, uh, and 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 how you react to it really. Uh, Which uh, one shows who you are? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It, and and uh, and I did the the most constructive thing, which was to vow revenge. Um, <laughs> And you know what, though? Sometimes that's fuel for your fire. It, it was, actually. Yeah. I, I did I'll not value it. I'll prove to you like, why it, you should have picked me for this. Exactly. Yeah. That was a really realistic kind of family. You can see it Tuesdays on NBC. So, tell, I'm going to love this show. It's called Extended Family. I think a lot of us can relate to that. So, what is the show about? Well, the show's about kind of a new phenomenon that I had was not aware of when I went through a divorce, uh, which is that a lot of people are, instead of having their uh, kids, if they if they do separate, mm -hmm. instead of having their kids go back and forth, they'll have their kids stay in the same apartment, and the parents will go back and forth. Uh, I, I, exactly. I was like, huh? <laughs> you can do that? Uh, uh, and our particular story was inspired Hard by... Hard no. Oh, well, it doesn't... It's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. <laughs> no. You know, it's... Uh... <laughs> That is hard. It's hard. Yeah, it's I hard. have heard of this. But but for some people it worked right. Like great. Uh, this was inspired by the uh, <laughs> the the owner <laughs> the owner of the Boston Celtics. Uh, wow. sh he and his wife share an apartment with her ex husband. They go back and forth. Uh, and what? I know. I that's that's why when I first heard about it I thought well how can this work? But they are they have managed to create this amazing friendship between the three of them. That's incredible. Yeah, and that's what yeah. we wanted to to have fun with, and and it's been a, a great ride on the show. Really uh, amazing cast. Members, I'm, I'm with uh, Abigail Spencer and Donald Faison. Donald Love Faison. the cast. Yes. Yeah, great cast. Yes, thank you. Um, uh, so. You know, it's and it's been a, a real blast to get back in front of an audience again. I, I did uh, last time I did Two and a Half Men was in two, 2015. Yeah. So and I haven't done any audience, um, you know, any live audience shows. That live then. energy is it's, unbeatable. It's yeah. a completely different animal, mm -hmm. and it's so much fun, and it's a, an amazing life. It makes and, the show better. It makes our show better. Thank you for coming. It makes the show way better. When people laugh at the right time. Yeah. It's, just, it's a different energy. It really is. Yeah. Uh, and it's fun to just do a joyful show. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's about people really trying to make, you know, what obviously divorce is very painful. Yeah. You know, but but to try and find something uh, uh, about that new phase of your life that's positive. Yeah. Uh, is uh, you know I think really admirable. Uh, and it's incredible. It's, <laughs> yeah. I am blown away. Yes, you'll be, you'll be watching the Celtics and going, wow, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you guys did it right. Yeah. Um, so, but but it's it's also been fun because I was uh, a part of the development of the show. You know, Two and a Half Men it was just a show I got cast in. Oh, so um, you're like behind the scenes too. That's fun. But yeah, yeah but I'm a, uh, an executive producer on the show, and that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's fun. It's a uh, uh, you know, it's a lot of a lot more work. A lot, <laughs> uh, which I was not prepared for. But. We are we're both from uh, divorced families. Like you know, we're, yes. both of our, our parents got divorced. So I've and we've both been divorced. So, like it's. How is that? Do you think any of that influenced you, either from childhood and that, just to your character in this? Well, one thing that really resonated for me was that my parents have managed to have a very amicable divorce. Um, they're both performers. Um, my mom and my stepmother get along astonishingly well. They're, oh, wow. they're very good friends. Uh, my half brothers and sisters. You relate to the character. Oh, okay. Yeah, awesome. my, my half brothers and sisters have lived with my mom. At, you know, when they were wow. first starting in New York, and and uh, uh, you know, it's 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 managed to be a re it can be a really wonderful thing. It can yeah. just ex be an extended family. Yeah. Uh, Look <laughs> at that. If you really try. Because if you try. So do you? What do you think, like, what, what do you think, like, for your character, too, like, if you're saying you relate, like, there's got to mm. be parts, there's got to be friction in the show a little bit. Like, oh, of, yes. like, you know, <laughs> let's just say you're doing really well at co-parenting or all that kind of stuff. There's obviously going to be moments that you're not. So how did you work through that? Well, yeah, no, co-parenting is a nightmare. It is uh, a nightmare. It's, but it's a nightmare even if you're married. It's a yeah. <laughs> parenting. It's just hard. Uh, if you're thinking about parenting, just don't. <laughs> just it's don't. It's very uh, hard. Uh, take the children out to the forest and, and wish them well. Uh, <laughs> like a survivalist. Uh, like a survivalist. <laughs> You know, give, give them what they need. You know, leave a bunch of food. Uh, um, but no, parenting is so hard. I mean, that's it, it, the the source of, of comedy for the show is endless because trying to co-parent even even when you're married there's is hard. There's a lot of comedy there. There's a lot of comedy there. Yeah. And again, it's it, what I, again what I love about the show is it's people 
trying to find the, the good parts, trying yeah. to find what's good about that. I think that's the cool thing about this family. Maybe it'll have a domino effect in that sense of like, Everybody going, it can work, especially if you mm -hmm. put yourself aside and put your kids first. It can work. Yeah, it can. I believe it yeah. can. And, and again, Is that my, what you my parents. Hope families take away? Yeah, yes, that's what I hope what, what families take away with it. But also, you know, again, my parents managed to manage to do it. You know, and, and uh, 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 it can it can happen. You know, I love that I can go back to New York to be with my whole family. You know, yeah. and it's and it's wonderful that we can all get together and that it's a really joyful. Experience. No, that's really cool. It's something to aspire to, definitely. Um, we need another break, everybody, but be sure to check out Extended Family Tuesdays on NBC and streaming the next day on Peacock.